why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? We actually might have a problem, yeah. Yeah, like, remember, remember when I said at the beginning of this game, nobody will survive? I meant that. So, this is unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, perfectly clear. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valors under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Um... Oh, Barter. Well, need more background on your kids before we go after them. What do you want to know? Um, for one thing, you must have plenty of competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with your children? Divided loyalty, that's why. Oh. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. Mm. The hundred families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Ah, the old look at that. We have the successor of the former king. Well, he doesn't make any decisions or does anything, but we have him, so we are in charge now. Ah. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think Aww, they'll Libby. get a better deal elsewhere. Sounds like Libby, though. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. And self-survival. Okay, what should we know about Victory? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire. He he's sounds like a sunshine. Worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Okay. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. People? Slaughterhouse? Now he's on the radio laughing about what he's going to do to his hostages and hostages. daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Hmm, not sure if this is true. Okay. Yeah, he's he is really selling to save his family, like so far. Okay. Oh, well, he better not hurt those rangers. And if he does, you're still bringing him home alive no matter what. Remember? Oh yeah, totally. I mean, he's still alive. Not like tiered limb to limb. I mean, as long as he stays alive, right? Like, he, he never said in one piece. He just said alive. Semantics. What kind of man is Valor? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed Daddy? my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. What a coincidence. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. Oh, that's good. No oil means no heat, no light and no food for my people. 
So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Oh. So Valor isn't dangerous? No, but the Gippers are tough and well armed. Uh. And Denver's a death trap. Oh, good old Denver. So, okay, let's listen to this and then we talk about this one. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Oh. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Well, that's unfortunate. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. Okay. Uh... You are expecting her to try to usurp you? <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. Mm. Thanks for the info. We'll do our best with them. You'd better. Anything else? So, I wonder about this one. I really do. Like, what does that mean? It seems like we have free order how we do this and all sound like very important like there's the one which means hey we need like we need the oil now because well the city is running out of all the resources and well if people don't get the heat nor the food they need then they might be a little bit unhappy but then we have also the point of we have like rangers who might have survived and if we are not going there immediately to help them then those rangers will be well dead and then there is um what is it valor liberty the last one who is building up an army even though he says like hey don't worry about her that maybe means that the longer we wait the stronger she gets like this is this is tough. Let's ask a few questions about the Dorsey's and the ambush. Uh -huh. Who are the Dorsey's? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but uh, that didn't work. <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. Mm -hmm. I know that better than most. Especially with your lovely family, apparently. Like, damn. I, I hate to say that, dude, but you have some really fluffed up kids. Do you think Big Val or Liberty were behind the attack on our convoy? Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. Hmm. Okay. Why do you say the ambush was your fault? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Thought. So basically they used WhatsApp instead of Telegram. Gotcha. Obviously they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. All right, enough about the Dorsey's. Good. What else do you need? Uh, I think we are good. Yeah, we can use barter because unfortunately we haven't reached that yet. Uh, yeah, we're good. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. Okay. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. That sounds interesting. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Sir, yes, sir. That's what I like to hear. Nice. I expect great things from you, Rangers. Do good work. Yeah, he is definitely like the military show me some respect type. All right, let's move out. Oh, level up. Man, that talking gave me a good amount of XP. Pretty happy with that. 
right? Oh, <laughs> that's that's the leaving thing. Oh dear. Oil seems to be the most important. Yeah, I hate to say this a bit, like, cool, having our ranger friends back might give us some really cool characters we can play as. But I will be honest, if I have to make the decisions here to save a whole city, or save, like, maybe two rangers, yeah, I would probably go with the city. Like, as, as much as it sucks to maybe lose the rangers, um, that city seems to be super duper important. Oh, before we talk, let's do, uh, let's do the skills. And before we do the skills, folks, I will take a super quick bio break and we'll run some ads in the meantime so that we are getting off the pre-roll. I will also grab something to drink in the meantime. And then we are doing our skill points and we have attribute points. Nice. And then we are talking with the people outside. Yeah, so I will be back in about four to five minutes. And then we are continuing right here. As I said, we will run some ads so that we are getting off the pre-roll ad for all the new people coming in. I hate that system so much, but it is what it is. So I will be back in like four to five minutes. See you then. Mm-hmm.
Alrighty, I'm back. Ooh, thank you so much for waiting. Hey, Penguin, how are you doing, man? And man, I have to say, a highlighted message with just one emote looks kind of meh because of the uh, purple background. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? Uh, give me just one second here if you were like, hey, why, why are you not switching back? Because... Um, I'm uh, checking a few things here right now. Which uh, I don't want to show you. Who secrets. Secrets. All right. Back. All right, man. I'm okay. I will do. I will be better when work ends. You enjoying this game, dude? I'm loving this game. Ah, oh, this is so good. This this game is so good, man. All oh, this costs me now two points to upgrade. We need more first aid, man. I need more first aid. Yeah. Okay, we have two points left. Um, I think about putting like another point in small arms. I'm loving this game. This oh, this game is so amazing. Um, let's put a point in barter. Even no, do we want? Do we want to use Bata on this character? So we will get two more characters. One of them will be mechanics and weapon. Thing. We also need some weapon. Thing. So I think I will put like another point. <sighs> man, I cannot decide, man. Hard ass. Let's go with hard ass. Wait. Let's set two points to upgrade. Why do I still have a point over? Yeah, it said upgrade po What? Okay, well, I'll take it. Okay, then let's put a point in barter. Boom. Yes. Okay, um, let's put another point in lock picking animal whisperer kiss ass boom okay and now i know that we are getting like Rangers. two more characters here come talk to me when you've got a moment want to discuss staffing i mean it's crew, friday penguin that kind of thing it's friday so the weekend is close if you're having a weekend oh by the way speaking of weekend uh, chances are, folks, that I'm streaming tomorrow. To fill you in on a few things, Rangers. But I don't know. Like, if we are streaming, it will not be Wasteland. You're not missing out on Wasteland. Don't you worry. We are continuing Wasteland on Monday. Still need to talk to you, Rangers. And I need to talk to my community. Can you can you wait here for a second, please? Dick. Thanks. Um, we will probably play some Still need to new to world Rangers. tomorrow. Yeah, we'll think about that. Um, what else? What else? What else? And if we stream, we will not do it here on Twitch. Yep, we will. Still need to talk to you, Rangers. We will go to the uh, red side. Still need to talk to you, Rangers. Uh, but yeah, I keep you. I keep you posted on that one. Yeah, I will not stream on Sunday, one hundred percent not. And then Monday we are continuing Wasteland. Wait, still need to talk to you, Rangers. I thought I put points into this. Oh, we have attributes now. All right. 
Starting at level 3, your rangers will earn one attribute point per level. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer? Run faster? Okay, we know that. Um, so... Still need to talk to your rangers. Because he's relatively close... Let's put another point into coordination. How much health does that give us? 69? Nice. Let's see how much it is when we are taking this. Oh, we are getting 3 com per level. Oh. That's not too much. Still need to talk to your rangers. We have 8 action points. That's pretty good, man. A chance, 92. Pretty good chance. Critical damage. Penetration. Love me some penetration. Uh, evasion minus one. Wow. Where do I got evasion from? Oh, from speed. Wait. Why do I have minus one percent? Oh, is it because of the armor? Still need to talk to your rangers. Shut up. Okay. Yes. Let's let's talk to this guy job, before he's like. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. <laughs> and now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Nice. Also, camera. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. Mm -hmm. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Howdy. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Yes. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Nice. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Speak to Sergeant Gretzky to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. The other two slots might be filled by companions, such as Marshal Kwon. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help you out all the same. you find plenty of companions on your journey through Colorado, so you can have up to six people. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Man, we can, we can have a pretty good team here um show you my you advice is to up. put together a squad with complementary skills nobody can be great at everything so pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't yeah we need a melee fighter and a heavy weapon and you can always sure. round out your squad with folks you meet along the way nice keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits i've rounded up Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, um... So... Oh, create a custom character. Now, I'm, I'm fine with... Let's see... No, let's create a custom character. Let's create a car custom character. That's fine. Identification. You know what? <laughs> Sakura. Female. Shoot! They saw us! You started it! We'll finish You started it! We'll finish it! And she is a jerk. <laughs> um background. So fire damage bonus, explosive damage bonus. <laughs> Grease monkey, melee damage. You know what? Let's make Sakura our melee damage fighter. Let's see how that goes. Um, I mean. <laughs> I, 
I, I guess. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Those masks. That was mask, man. I have no clue. Because I also don't know how Sakura looks like, so... I imagine this look. Yeah. Completely... Completely fits. Cool. <laughs> um... Portrait. I, again, I have no clue. Do we have something with a mask? That looks similar. Again, I have I have no freaking clue, man. Starting weapon. So well blunt? A strike often deal high damage to enemies with light armor. The train you can stun them too. Damage to enemies in heavy armor. Um Rolling weapons. They can gain critical hit points for each consecutive strike. Ooh. Let's use the later weapon for now. Yeah. Attributes. Oh god. Uh, let's let's go with skills first because melee combat needs. What do we need? Strength, coordination, speed. Okay. How many points do we have? Ten? Oh, that's not too shabby. And a stunning blow is what she gets with the next level then. Um brawling doesn't doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um She would be sneaky. Probably, right? Give her a little bit of sneakiness. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, she would be good at... I just give my custom brawling. Brawling seems to be, at the beginning, kind of meh. But later on, like, you can basically crit everyone down. Um... No, I want to... Let's give her a weapon and armor modding. Let's give her a weapon and armor modding. And then the other person is getting toaster and nerd stuff. Uh, mechanics. And she's also getting another point in sneaky shit. And... Survival, maybe? Let's take a survival. Yeah. We don't we don't need anything else. Alright, attributes. Wait, what do we need? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Strength, coordination, speed. Okay. Okay. Strength makes sense. Coordination and the rest is speed. Oh, that looks good. So I'm a melee beast. Yes, you were doing you were doing stabby stab. You you are doing stabby stab. And you you know the world. And uh, you do also all the modding for the team. So you are our survivalist with stabby stab. Get it? Modding? <laughs> oh god, do I want to give you... Oh, do I want to give her blunder? 
like, I'm not really going crit on her anyways. So maybe I actually want to give a blunder. Because right now, our crit is like, yo, whatever. Like, we have two in luck and we have two in intelligence. So, pff, what is my crit chance in total? Like, maybe four? Eight percent? Uh, no, no. We, oh, this is uh, this is normal for lemons. Uh, Lemon says basically it's summer, and because he is doing like uh, construction, like he's in the construction industry. Well, basically like summer is hell for him. Like he's he knows nothing but working. So some people say it's the only time where he's actually working. So, no, no, he is fine. He was here like two days ago or so. Yeah. But no, 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 he is fine. Again. Summertime. Summertime. Boot bag. What might be boot bag? Getting more armor? A boot bag is also not bad. I don't know what does. Okay, can can I have an explanation on what combat speed does? Does does anybody want to give me an explanation on that? Maybe. Does anybody know what combat speed does? Because right now combat speed seems to be weird. Yeah, combat speed. Strike first, so this is basically like who can attack first? Oh, how far an action point lets you move. Oh. Yeah, as a melee fighter. Mm, yeah, as a melee fighter. Ooh, no, as a melee fighter, I want I want you to move quickly. Like, I definitely don't want you to be a lame duck. Mm -mm. That's that's the last thing I want. Like, I want you up and close. Yeah. Here's the thing. Medical Marvel is also not bad. Because I will be brutally honest, <laughs> when you are dead, I am not sure I'm able to revive you. Because, like, you are the front fighter. So. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll use the medical marble. I think we'll use the medical marble because we're getting five con per level. Like that is that is a lot. Five con per level. Oof. I first thought about blunderer, but yeah, you are you are our meat shield. Congratulations. And again, I I don't even know if I can revive you. Like none of my characters are really good. Now you know what? Let's create another custom character. And this one is ooh, who do I want to who do I want to mm, tough decision I have two names in mind I have two names in mind
Yes. We we are taking tasty lemons. <laughs> we can handle them. Come and get it. Scott. Come and get it. They've spotted us. That sounds like lemons. Totally sounds like lemons. Um We talk about that when we are done. Appearance. Oh, let's see if we can actually like <laughs> Actually lemons need the animal whisperer. Let's see if we find which is something similar to lemons. is too high. Okay, I think I have to do it like myself here in a second. Are you sure you want lemons on your team? Yes, because then I can blame him if something goes wrong. So we can have like a mod team. I can always blame lemons if something goes wrong. <laughs> okay, can we like seriously? I know randomize is randomize, but that is going a bit too far. Something at least similar to lemons. Like, I'm not looking for much, even though lemons looks really plain. So I cannot really do anything crazy. That one actually look kind of close to him. I'm gonna lie. The mask is not helping. Yeah, looks like lemons. Totally looks like lemons. There. Wins. Congratulations. Looks like lemons. Um, no, actually it does not. Uh, let's not have a helmet. Oh yeah, that doesn't... No, that, that hair is not... Like... I am lemons. Oh, that's more like lemons. Um, does lemons even have a beard? Like something. Wouldn't, wouldn't call it a beard. Uh, I don't like the paint. Totally looks like lemons. If I wouldn't know better. Totally looks like lemons. Uh, portrait. Uh, Yeah, it looks like lemons. Perfect. Starling web. So lemons is actually our heavy weapon dude. Hell yeah. He is he's our heavy weapon dude. So let me go on the skills. How is these lemons similar? Look, they don't have like a weird beard. It is what it is. I think that's big guns, right? Makes it more effective with heavy machine guns, flamethrowers, and other oversized weapons. Awareness, coordination, strength is what he needs. Suppression fire! Uh, suppressing fire, I mean. 
Okay, okay, okay. So, that's that. Then he has to be good with... Explosives. Weird science. And he is good with... Mechanics. Toaster repair. Yep, these are the attributes he would be good at. Yep. There we go. So that means we give him melee damage, kiss ass, money bag, invasion, paladin, sex machine. Okay. Penetration is probably not bad. Explosions. I mean, he's working with explosions mostly. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, he already has the heavy weapon, so... Explode Maniac, let's use that. This will work fine. This will work fine. Let's give let's give lemons all the explosions explosions. Um big guns. Awareness, coordination, strength. Okay. Awareness. Coordination. Strength. Charisma? I think my character is already using some charisma. Uh, eh. Okay, quirk. I would love to give him Pyromaniac, but 50% chance to catch on fire when using explosives. Is sipping whiskey? There is the ways of the squeeziness doing more damage while drunk. But I'm not sure I can keep Lemons drunk all the time. Like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, I'm actually thinking about pyromaniac. Just just for the hilariness hilariness. Yeah, yeah. Don't let's not talk about that one. Death wish. Maybe armor? Combat speed? Armor plus six. Hmm. You know what? I just want to see how it goes. <laughs> let's go with this. Like, hell yeah. <laughs> let's let's put lemons on fire. <laughs> Oh. Yes. Yes. We can only have four people in the group, right? Right? Like you can you can only have like active four people. Or was it six? Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. It's six. Now that we've got that sorted, 
Let's talk about the next steps. Really? Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Yeah, so we, the base sounds good. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. Nice. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you hey, Daisy her, is in the game. Maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. And a sheriff. All right, thanks for the... For the uh, info. one sec. Oh. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, Good point. What if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Sure. What do you offer us? Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Oh. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Nice. Thanks. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <coughs> Great. <laughs> oh, nice. So wait a second. Um, we are now five people. Can we still get another one? Or is that the limit? For now. For now, this is the limit, like five people. Okay. Good to know. Uh, we still have points, by the way, for uh, Irene. Um, you go get more intelligence, please. We need a full squad. Yeah, apparently we cannot do that right now, so... That's just how it is. Okay, let's save here. And let's look around, shall we? Damn budget cuts. I tell you, apocalypse and budget cuts, they're the worst. Oh, we cannot go there. Can we... Let's open this one. What? Wait. So, Sakra, you can sneak, right? Oh, Pretty you... Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum. Oh, look at that, or a or a handball court. So, Sakra is the one who should go first. Because she is the person with the knife. Oh, <sighs> okay, well, that sucks. Oh, man, okay. Let's do this again. She didn't attack. Like she was just like, I probably misclicked. It's a bit weird because you are moving with right click but all the actions are with left click so even if you are moving to attack you have to basically use left click instead of right click that's it's it's, it's a bit weird not a not a huge fan of that like i would love to have like a tag also on right click. Okay, 
this thing around. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court. Okay, she's taking like 20 years before she attacks. I want to see how this works. I really, really have to see how this works. I'm sorry if I'm like, I have to understand how this works. Like she's like, okay, let's draw my weapon. Let's have a look at the weapon. Yeah, I think that's the weapon I want to shank you with. Give me a second here. Um... I think it was this way, yeah, the point, the pointy side is going into the enemy, yeah. Oh, you want to attack? J just give me a minute. Mm, you know, like I really have to figure that out. Because Sakura is like the person who goes in first. And if I'm like not understanding how she works with the melee, I don't have to do this, right? Then I can just engage with the sniper or whatever. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court. So she can't sneak. Okay, let's wait for this one to come back or this one to come back. Hey, assholes. Are you attacking? Wait, what? <laughs> um There we go. Wow, you really have to time this right. Okay. Seizing initiative. When you have spotted by an enemy, each ranger in your squad has a chance to take the first combat turn. With higher initiative stand, increasing their chance. Okay. Oh wow, they all have zero AP. Um, let's go into position here. I cannot reach anyone. Okay, Overwatch. Of course. Wow. Oof. Yeah, go get him, Major Tomcat. Holy moly. That cat. That's me, right? Yeah, okay. Ah, not enough VP. Okay. Um. So wait, poisoned, you, wow, 80 seconds remain. Oh, that's okay, yeah, that's not good. Uh, let's use a um, map pack. Oh no, how do I get this? Oh, an antidote. 
Um, we don't have an antidote. No, we don't. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay. Yeah, that should that should do the trick for now. But damn. Oh, that is not Man, this takes a lot of mad stuff. Ooh. That's brutal. First things first, uh, let's also give lemons. Oh my god, I can't believe I would say this. Let's give lemons the rocket launcher. Energy, fire, cold, and explosion damage. Elemental weapons ignore enemy armor entirely. The four elemental damage types are energy, fire, cold, and explosive damage. Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types and resistant to others. I, I, I cannot believe that we are actually giving him like the... Oh my god, what are we doing? Ooh, what is this one? The Convincer. Nice weapon, man. Yeah, and we're giving lemons <laughs> grenades. <gasps> oh, we are so screwed. We are so screwed. Like, you won't believe that. I'm a little bit surprised how much damage Sacro got. Like, not gonna lie, I'm surprised by that. Like, I actually believed that she would get a bit less damage. So, I'm actually also thinking about, like, the... F oh, she doesn't wear any armor yet. Okay, well, that makes sense. So we are finding some armor soon. Because, damn. Ooh, Wolverine fur. Black sludge, a mysterious black substance that periodically bulges, shutters, and farts. You're sure it's harmless? Pretty sure. <laughs> oh, what is that? A fallen billboard. Who put it here? Oh, can we remove this? No. The power button on the machine resists your press, seemingly rusted in place, It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure, corruption detected across multiple sectors, initiating automatic repair operations, recovery complete, few recovered logs, examine personal logs. There are fewer logs than you expect for a base of this size, many have suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable. But you find a few that are legible. Oh, nerd stuff level 3. Oh, damn. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone, and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep my men in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. Yeah, about that one. Read the old security logs. Filtering tools help you to call the routine and whole wholly corrupted reports. You might need a computer expert to access some of the files. Oh, nice. We have this one. 2000, report 1. Classified information purge initiated. Report 2. Erasure complete. Command cleared. Fully autonom autonomous security system activating in T-30 minutes. Report 3. Intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter. Monitoring. Report 4. Intruders retreat without engagement. Monitoring. 26th of June 2009. 9. Report 15. Intrusive movement detected on our outer perimeter. Monitoring. Quadrupedal creature identified as non-hostile. Monitoring 
deprioritized, probably dear. Report 25. Creature remains. Report 88. Witcher departs. Incidents monitored without engagement. 1846. Incidents involving security response. 5. Uh, the 22nd of January 2010. So this is a year later. Report 98. Intrusive movement detected on auto parameter. Monitoring. Bipedal creature approaches facility. Deploying servitors. Intruber. So this is like the first damage. Report 100. Intruber pacified. Incidents monitored without engagement. 2008. Incidents involving security response. 9. Report 100A. Automated amendment. Intention was for intruder. Logging technological review request with information technology. Report 100. <laughs> the 28th of November 2068. There's a gap of like 58 years. That's crazy, man. Report 750. Intruder 32 returns to war room. Starts fire for Intruder 30, 31, 33. Intruder 34 is providing them with a meal. Logging requisition request for additional servitors following abduction of core servitors 05010 by Intruder 11. This request has been logged 1500 times. Priority ele elevated. Yeah. Um, I assume this machine hasn't really uh, realized what happened. Report 751. Attempting to wake remaining servitors. Wake attempt resulted in failure. Incidents monitored without engagement. 7242. Incidents involving security response. 15. Incidents with failed security response. 1. Incidents with inability to respond 4000. <laughs> Report 755. Intruder 034 now classified as deceased. Wow. The 26th of August 2102. Holy moly. Report 001. System wake up. Complebo. Accessing database. Oh, Dababa. Dababase. No new information since catastrophic failure. Report it. <laughs> Report 002. Intruders 69. Nice. 273. Locked in war rope. Servitors not responding to wake up. Instruction. Monitoring. Intruber 07 has fully reparibit money boring systems. Intruber 69 has gained access to money boring systems. Report 066. Self diagnostic complete. Servitors 103, 22, and 616 present, but unresponsible. Primary, primary power unresponsible. Secondary power at 20%. Primary processing reports all good. <laughs> wow, this is so awkward to read. Oh, and it's horrible. Okay, last report. Oh, wow. Well. The 10th of June, 2107. So this is five years afterwards. Okay, I try to read this like in words. I know what this is. Report 685. Intrusive movement detected at perimeter. Intruder 159 locked and approaching. Report 686. Intruder 158 detects Intruder 159 and returns to barracks. Various intruders seem...
perturbed and barricade door to barracks. Wait, this okay. <laughs> I was thinking they're doing like another another word here. Maybe pre prepared? Report 690, Intruder 159 retreats after accessing War Room and Armory. Serbitus remain unresponsible. Report 701, Intruder 156 departs barracks, enters break and access computer terminal. Horrible intruders. <laughs> Report to 702, Intruder 156 has initiated a generator restart. Power coming online, Serbitos waking, red alert. Oh, well, that's not good. Let's read this one. Some bad metadata kept this file from filtering, probably, but you are able to easily repair it. Oh, look at that. Oh, nerd stuff level two. So, this is a new one. Report 002. Radio signal reconstructed from partial bursts over the past two months. Transcript follows. Good people of Arizona, we, the remaining officers of the 259th Engineer Battalion, have been unable to contact our leader at Forscom for too long and have come to the unfortunate conclusion that our government has fallen. Every one of us here joined the army to protect the people of these United States, and even if the US is no more, we intend to continue to protect you to be the best to the best of our ability. We heard your cries for help on the radio, and we want you to know help is coming. Keep calling, shelter in place, and stay strong. We are on our way. This message will repeat. Yeah, we don't have the level for this one, so mm. that's unfortunate. Well, well, well. Well, guess what? Humanity got extinct. I know, total surprise. Who would have thought about that? Ooh, container. Total nuclear Armageddon. Creepy dolls? Oh, don't do that. You found a creepy doll. Creepy dolls are dolls that are creepy, but they also grant powerful party wide bonuses. Simply collecting them will benefit you for the rest of the game. The archive. Creepy dolls aren't found in your inventory. Instead, find them as well as any discovered cassette tapes and tutorials in your archive menu. Oh, dude. Radical Rachel, creepy doll. She'd like to see the world burn. Afterwards, it's her own turn. Explosive damage plus 5%. Man, how many explosive damage has Lemons now? Like, his explosive damage must be through the roof. Let me see. Oh yeah, 155 explosive damage already. <laughs> Holy smokes. Damn, man. Explosions? Where are the explosions? Wait, why can you not use the turret? Oh, because mechanics level one. That's why. Yep. Yes, mechanics level one. So. Oh, there are people in there. Refugees. Well, this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. Cold food. The food on these tables is cold and partially eaten, but not rotten. It's clear someone recently fled mid-meal. Oh man! We need toaster level 3 for this? Oh, that sucks. Well. 
All right, let's get in here. And also, Please, hi. Don't shoot. The woman is flaunt, her clothes is ragged. She is surrounded by a group of betraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who, who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We are rangers, who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Can't repair the toaster fields, but sad. <laughs> Tell me, man. Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. <laughs> the Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. She shots a fearful look at Quan, but she doesn't seem to notice. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Hmm. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No Isn't place it? left to run but here, for any of us. Did you set off the security system? Not intentionally. Makes sense. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Oh, because he also rebooted the generator. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. Yep, because he restarted the generator. Can you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. That is unfortunately true, yeah. I will regret this, but alright, you can stay. Your call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. Eh. You said yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm sure you wouldn't. The refugees' hacked faces break into smiles. A few of them hug each other. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. I hope this will not backfire, man. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. Andy? If you find him hiding out somewhere, <sighs> you send him back to us? Yeah, that might be Intruder 159. Um, yes, but I have a bad feeling Andy will not come back. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Yeah, he was the one who restarted um, the power. And uh, the computer didn't like that at all when he had power back. Wait, pick lock. Failure requires lock picking level one. Oh, wait a second. Do they have to be in a group? Oh, yeah. So you have to have them in a group. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. October 12th, 1998. Oh. Six. No. Seven. Yeah.
Damn, man. PTSD, man. Oh! Oh, this is where we can customize our appearance. Okay. Okay. Let me see something here. I'm the leader, right? Wait. Why does she have leadership? Sakura doesn't. Oh, wow. That's the range of my leadership? So, right now I don't even hit Sakura with it? Not gonna lie. That's bad. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's only level two, you know? I hope it gets like a bigger range. Wait, wasn't there anything which gives me like bigger range on leadership that was under attributes right yeah charisma damn dude Well, apparently Mr. Marsha Kwan here has a good amount of leadership already, uh, charisma. Damn. Yeah, we have to think about that. That's rough. Like, yeah, four meters is... Oh, not funny. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, Reko. Oh, hey. The prison. Howdy. Howdy. What? Oh, that's a dog. I was like, what the hell is that sound? But it's the top from the outside. Oh. Interesting. Okay, first things first. Hello? The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes and he's been dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. Perception. Search the body. This man was carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body, and those are tattered and grimy. His shoes have holes in their soles. In one of his pockets you find a half-eaten sweet-smelling mushroom. Oh damn, we don't have the first aid. Let's leave the body alone for now. What's going on with the dead guy? Is he, uh, alright? <laughs> oh, dude, dude, is, is the dead guy alright? Like, is he hurt? Can you, can you check? Like, I don't, I don't know. I think you're still moving, man. We should definitely check the dead guy. <laughs> Yo, Mantis. <laughs> yeah. Is the dead guy alright? Determine the display information about the base system. Everything appears normal for the moment. Okay, let's check the uh, recent activities. How <laughs> we do, Mantis? You come through the logs, culling engine messages and routine system notifications until you have a list of recent activi activations. Wake initiated, wake complete. Credentials rejected. Credentials accepted. 
Login, Admin, Password, Admin. Core. OS, Loading Default Admin Operations, Backup Generators Initialized. Automated Security Lockdown Initiated. Login Required. Credentials Rejected. Credentials Rejected. OS, Station Locking Out User Due to Multiple Failure Login Attempts. The terminal displays information about the base system. Everything appears normal for the moment. Hmm. Let's have a look at the container, shall we? The Breakmaster's Key. Oh, hell yeah. I bet that for that person he is fine. Oh, nice. Yeah. Red Dragon is pretty good. Hey, dude. Waving at you through the bars of a cell is a pale, rail thin man with matted hair and fraying, faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's up? I haven't seen you before. Hey, dude. Have I? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Have you? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Uh, I see you for the first time. Like, you know what I mean? We are Rangers. This is going to be our new headquarters. <laughs> we are the new landlords. We're in charge, you know. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey. <laughs> new uh, landlords. That's cool, man. Cool. <laughs> I hope taking over is uh, going good for you. What, uh, what brought you out here? Uh, I don't know, man, you know, it's just the weather, man, it's all like grayish, and you know what it is, man. <laughs> we came here from Arizona to help the patriarch, the rangers help people, we help to, sorry, that's top secret. <laughs> We're here to help Colorado. That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? Um, that's not something you need to know. Oh, so not many then, huh? Don't worry. You'll make new friends. I bet though. You uh. You seem real friendly and nice, so, hey, what, uh, what? Uh, you know, man, we got actually a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. <laughs> What's your name? My name? Uh, yeah, ah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry, Nick, Booger, Dickens. Dickens. Lyle? <laughs> Lyle? Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love the voice acting in this Something game. Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I, I kind of been here for a while. I can see that. How long have you been here? He probably doesn't know. Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Yeah. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Mm. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. How have you survived? You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So uh. I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. Uh, that's not healthy. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushrooms grow there, man. 
Oh boy. And now we know what he is high on. So I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms. He means poop. Good. He pooped on it. <laughs> You've been living off war water and mushrooms? Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, bugs when they come by. Dude. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. <laughs> oh shit. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Can you tell us any of the groups that lived here before us? Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Okay. Kinda, kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, Wanna buy. let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Hmm. Tell us about the dead oh, guy. That's, uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over Why did he freak out? And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um, well, you came in. Okay. Hmm. I don't trust this dude. Hey, Punchek the boss. How are you doing? Well, she was, uh, she was a woman. Dressed all raggedy, but uh, riggedy rag. I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. Hmm. We talked um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Oh, maybe it's the um, it's the refugee woman we talked to. <laughs> you don't? I can't see why not. What attack speed stat do in the game? Attack speed? You mean the normal speed, right? Because the attack speed doesn't exist. There's speed in the game. Oh, and charisma? I have to let oh, me let me see that. And she's haunting me for some reason. I, I don't know no, it from the top of my head. I have to see I that. Think about it. I guess I'd be glad for the company, you know. Okay. I will I will look it up when we are done here with the talking. Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. Never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Oh. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, cause uh, I got no money. Mm, I think she. I don't think she was a trader here. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to uh, to say that. Yeah, pretty sure she was not a trader. Pretty sure. You know, man, it's um, 
I've been here a long time, and I, and I eat a lot of mushrooms. Pray tell. I can't always remember things that happened in the uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. How long have you been here, man? There was, and there was, um, and there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and uh, the bloody screamers, and uh, and the metal fellers. The really white guy and owl, uh, owl face. Oh, and the six wee men and the lion. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally know what you know. Uh, what you mean, man? Like I've been there. Like the owl is the craziest shit, man. I've. Oh, I tell you that face. I will never forget that. I to to totally know what you mean. But uh, yeah, hard to remember who <laughs> came in first and uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me. So uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. I've been to you. Uh, yeah, let me. You think you can maybe do oh, this if we can leave him out there. Let me let me uh, look at this very quickly and then. Find a way to get me out of here. Uh, uh, we'll see what we can do. No promises. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure, but. Uh... Um, let me see what you mean. Um, we will talk to him in just a second again. So... Don't worry about that. Leadership. Yeah, there is no. Oh, in charisma, not in leadership. I'm a, I'm a big dummy. Oh, the strike rate is what you were talking about, not attack speed. The strike rate is. Let me see. Um. There's the combat speed, which allows you like how far you can move during the combat, and. The strike speed? What is that? How quickly you attack, maybe? Good question. Strike speed. Sneak attack? Oh, yeah, strike rate. How quickly you build up your strike meter. Oh, oh, of course, the strike meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the strike rate. So this is like your special attack, your VATS. It's like the this one here. The precision strike or whatever it is, depending on which character you're playing. It's their special attack. Yep. Like the turn strike. So depending on how, how much charisma you have, the quicker you build that up. You could... Or call it your ultimate, whatever you want to do. Yep. That's what this is. Mm hmm Okay, let's talk oh, to him hey, again. again. What's, uh, no problem. What You're more, more than you? welcome. Okay, why are you in here? Because uh, the cell door is locked. Yes, but this is a prison, <laughs> so... <laughs> he probably doesn't remember. That's not what we were asking. Why were you put in here? Oh man, didn't you like my joke? Nope, I'm German. Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Oh. Friend though too, man, like former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore so he uh he conked me on the head so you were thieves roger when i woke up um i i was in here real bummer man like seriously okay just in the off chance you haven't noticed this is the worst prison cell you can even imagine like why didn't you just Climb over. <laughs> like, seriously. This is the worst prison cell ever created. Like, you could have just climbed over this thing.
Um, what happened with the death dead re refugee? Oh, I uh, didn't. Uh, didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead guy. Oh yeah. And yeah. after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. Knox on the terminal show there was a power surge, like I said, but also several attempts to access the computer afterwards. Wow, those uh, those alarms were going off. How'd that happen? Yeah. We'll ask again who was trying to access the computer after the power surge. Um, well, that guy, uh, he fell over under the computer machine after the flash. Maybe he landed on uh, on the buttons or. On the thing with all the little buttons. Or... Oh! Oh, shit, man! Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? A prowler lurking about? That's, um... Uh, nope. Some scary stuff, man. Yikes. Nope. I have another theory, man. So we found a half-eaten mushroom in the corpse's pocket. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> what? So... Yeah. I. Mm. Later, dudes, and uh, don't forget uh, to think about getting this door open if you get a chance. I look on the one hand, and no, there is no invisible ceiling. There's definitely no invisible ceiling. <laughs> um, I will be honest here. I don't want the dude, like, getting out. Like, not only is he giving everyone poisoned mushrooms, he was a thief, which makes sense. I don't, I don't necessarily hold that against him. But, man, he is a danger to a lot of people. I don't want to let him out. He just wants mushrooms, man. A oh, man, I understand that, but you're a spectre. Wait, are you a real spectre man? Like a spooky guy with chains and who's doing like woo? Oh, you creepy man, just say. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to let this dude. I, I don't want to kill him. But, man, I would love to tell everyone, like, leave him alone. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's look around here. Attacking objects. No, we don't. We don't like to attack objects here. Why would I? What is this? Tin can. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh. That didn't work. Wait. Oh no, we can, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, can I not open like the doors again? So let me see. How are you doing, Spectre? How have you been, man? Have you played this game? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to let them out yet. Like I really, oh, no man. I don't trust this dude. I really don't trust this dude. Like, I. Mm, mm. Nah, man. <laughs> okay, let's talk to them because I think we found Andy. You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? Yeah. We think we found your missing guy, Andy. Sorry to say, he is dead. Andy, damn it! I was afraid of that. 
We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. Yeah. And he was probably outside. He was hungry as heck. And the dude was like, here, take the mushroom. And that killed him. How did he... No. I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Yeah. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. You have more time to explore the base than we have. Can you, we ask you about it? Sure. Uh, did you touch any of the equipment in the war room? Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of... Well, of, of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. Hmm. Have you checked out the map, bay? We stay away from that awful room. Oh. Yeah, but death in there. Ugh. Have you been in the brig? Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in. Living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I... A lot. I left him locked up after I met him. Yeah. Uh, I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but uh, he just kept asking questions that felt off. What do you mean, man? And those glassy eyes. Yeah. What did you find in the armory? Booby traps, mostly. I was with you when she said booby, but that traps, man. Eh, that's unfortunate. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. Lucky her. I assume that the gas was already so weak over the hundreds of years that it didn't kill her. I told Lucky everyone here. to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Oh, I will. Anything we can scavenge in the garage? Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. Ew. Oh. You liking this game so far? I love it. I love it. What's in the archive room? Okay, we have already been there, but We first let's got ask. into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some oh. critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. Yeah, they're dead now. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I love this game. Careful out there. Like, I didn't like... It's an like... world. Unkaren? What? I, di I didn't like the first one. Oh, well, no, wrong. I didn't like the second one. I never played the first one. Um, This one is amazing. It's especially like the combat system. I didn't like the combat system in the second one. Yeah. Didn't like it. So... Ooh, so many doors. Uh, let's save here. And let's open the door, shall we? Oh! Uh. What a stink! Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. Yeah! Ooh. This desiccated husk of a man is little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. Okay. Looks like a simple case of starvation and dehydration, but the corpse angles and wrists show some scaring, as if he was chained up for a while. Oh, dude. This female corpse is bloated and putrefied. One of her arms is entirely missing. The black echo oozes from her swollen torso. Looks like the missing arm had nothing to do with the woman's demise. It had been expertly removed and stitched up for long before she died. Instead, she seems to have died of an infection or illness. Oh. Uh, I had to remove the arm and then she got sick. 
You notice the same scarring on the ankles and wrist as one of the corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. Oh, were they prisoners? Oh, wow. First aid four. Damn. Okay. Ooh, Matt Hyper. Well, it didn't save him. This leathery corpse is missing several of his high digits and facial features. You? Looks like exposure to extreme cold took his person's missing extremities. Scaring indicates that his, this might have happened multiple times over several years. Oh, dude, they tortured them here. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. You also notice the same scarring on his ankles and wrist as one of the other corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. Man, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, man. Where are these bodies coming from? Like... Is that from the Patriarch? I hope not. There's a pile of corpses in the corner. These people died in a variety of ways, most of them violent. Bullet holes in one, crushed skull in another, a cut throat on a third. They all have the same scarring on their ankles and wrists as the other corpses. Looks like these people were trafficked by slavers. Well, and there's the answer of what happened. Cool. Well, that's not good. A slaver's note. You found this note on the body in the Ranger HQ. It's heavily creased and stained with the blood of his previous owner. Can we read this? Um, let's, can we read this? Read. Rush order from ST. Drop whatever you're doing and round up six. Late 10, early 20, preferable female, and most importantly, in good health. The last badge we sold him didn't last a week. If we disappoint him again, there will be consequences. Colorado Springs is a wash in refugees right now. I'd start hunting there. The marshals won't care if a few go missing. There are probably more than a few families that would gladly hand over a daughter if it means one less mouth to feed. Once you've got all six, take them straight to the track. ST will pick the best four, and then you can bring the others back. I should have a buyer for them by the end of the day. Probably is going to the uh, to the creep. Yeah, it's really good. Ugh, that sucks, man. Where's this leading to? Is this like the actual morgue? Let me see. Yeah, we cannot go there. Okay, okay, okay. It's really, really good. It's a bit slow, but then again, it's a classical CRPG. So, you want to take your time. Oh, wow! There's already like an explosive right here. Okay, um, let's open this first. Before we go into the not so good route. Oh! Rusted slicer and dicer. Nice. Um. Oh, pick lock. Hell yeah! Repair kit. Nice. Oh, I like that. Um, uh, uh, oh, look at that. There's no. Okay, before we go to the robot, uh, let's see if we can. Yeah, keep in mind this game is also available on Game Pass. So if you don't want to buy it, you can use it on Game Pass. What do we have here? Lunchbox. 
these bears left a stain on your memories. Actually, okay, we already had this one. These sharp blades were engineered in the military lab for one job and it ain't petting zoo assistant. <laughs> Laser amateur, this component appears to be a high powered photon generator. It's broken, but might be still able to power something else. Interesting. <laughs> Downloading it on Game Pass right now. It's kind of crazy, like, how Game Pass has changed the landscape over the last few years. Like, we will see how it turns out in the long run and how it does, but it really changed how people, like, treat games when they come out on Game Pass. There was actually... Um, a report like a few days ago that apparently people who are using Game Pass are buying 20% more. Like they are apparently paying like 20%, like, well, they're using 20% more of their money to buy games and other stuff thanks to the Game Pass. It's like interesting. Alright, let's look at. Let's look at the corpse and then see what the computer is doing. The corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted at an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she has been here a while. Uh, determine how she died. The body's unnatural position suggests some kind of seizure and there are signs of discoloration on her face indicates of heat failure, of heart failure. Oh, she got electrocuted. A heavy metal spanner is gripped tightly in her, ha her right hand. The metal is discolored and scorch marks are black on her fingertips. Yep, yeah. electrocuted. That looks to you like a textbook case of electrocution. Okay. The woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundled of wire and bits of circuit boards. It looks like the wastelander made her living by scavenging and repairing electronics. She would have felt right at home in an old garage like this. I wonder if she died when she tried to repair the rusted slicer and dicer. Yeah, the game again is fantastic. I love the combat. Like That was one of my biggest gripes I had with the second one. I... I'm not a fan of real-time combat in these type of games. This is why I always didn't like Pillars of Eternity much. I'm just not a fan of real-time combat. I'm really more a fan of turn-based in these type of games. So they actually now have turn-based combat plus this amazing world. Just perfect. Let's see if we can fix this thing. The enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. It's casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Ah, oh, we don't have mechanics level 3, man! Examine the robot. You recognize it's a slicer and dicer. A pre-apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. Oh, thankfully. Upon closer inspection, you know that some of the bullet holes have been patched and several of the legs show signs of recent wielding. The slicer and Daisa main access panel is open, revealing its wiring and power plant. It's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. And we don't have the ability to do so, so... Oh well. Oh, let's listen to this. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. 
Hermes remembers your daily Tesla is the gathering geek. up to the minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. Nice. Yeah, like Pillars of Eternity is sometimes the fight got hard to handle because of the real time combat. Yeah, I. Yeah. That was one of the main reasons I really didn't like it much. Unfortunately. Even though I put in like 70 hours into the game, <laughs> I played the second one quite a bit on stream. This terminal is displaying information about the base system. All seems normal right now. Okay. Um, recall service elevator platform. A loud grinding emanates from the huge trapdoor near the garage entrance. The smell of rusted metal sparking fills the room. Mechanical failure reported. A servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Oh, great. Most of the locks appear to have been destroyed in a giant server wipe that occurred decades ago. Uh, we know that. Okay. Yeah. So we, we, we have to find a way to, like, to repair this. And I would love to get the spider out of the way. Nice. Ah, some fresh air. Okay, so that means the only left room is the armory. Nice. Nice. Let's do some saving here. Okay, so let's have a look. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Okay. He is the explosive expert. Lemons. Good. Don't don't fail me, Lemons. Let's do a quick save. Trash. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to make sure that there's not like anything else and Irene has the best awareness and Lemons is the one which is our heavy weapon explosive guy so he can actually handle all of this. Ooh, energy cells. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, um... Can we open this with the computer? Let's see. The terminal is displaying information. Yeah, okay. Check recent activity logs for this terminal. The only log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe. Okay, we know that. Yeah. So, no. Okay, let's lockpick this. Okay. Let's save this again. Um... Oh, we found a trap. <laughs> uh, man, and we didn't saw it. Okay, it seems like one of these traps that we can actually run through. If we're just fast enough. Let's, let's do that. The loading times could be a bit faster here. And that's, that's the only thing I'm not super happy with. Yeah, it's interesting that she... I mean, we can just open it from here. Or not. Okay, um... 
I actually thought we could open it from here. Well, there was a mistake. Damn. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, it's just a grenade box, so it's not... <sighs> hmm. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Like, if not, we can also come back later on. Let's try this one more time. Okay. Let's try something really stupid because we cannot we cannot go there. So okay. Yeah, there's just a Molotov cocktail or something in here. Yeah, frag grenade or Molotov cocktail. It's not worth it. It's totally not worth it. Touch me up. Yeah. So we will come back for this later if we can see the trap. I guess I said it's not worth it. In any shape or form. Nope. This is our second box we cannot open right now because there's a trap. I have to say though, for an armory very disappointing. Like we didn't really fi uh, find anything of value in there. Hmm. Oh well. Nope, lemons don't do that. Wait! Wait! Disarm explosive failure 4. Oh, yeah, I don't have 4 in explosives. Yeah, nobody, nobody has four. Wait, who saw this? Like, who does have the awareness? Oh, Lemons actually has a pretty high awareness. Yeah, Lemons. Lemons is now the person with the highest awareness. Wow. Okay. But that doesn't help us because we cannot disarm it, so it doesn't really... It doesn't really matter at this point. Cool. All right, but we basically have everything here. Yeah. Oh, wait. There's still a question mark there. Why? Have we missed something? The terminal is displaying... Okay, we know that. Examine the security system. The status reports indicate all is normal at the moment. The option displaying old security alerts shows the number so long it goes off the right edge of the screen. <laughs> ah, damn it. We don't have the... Um, the nerd stuff required. Okay, we cannot read this. Yeah, we cannot do this right now because we need nerd level 2. Damn it. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, how did we miss the container in here? Ooh, hum shotgun. Nice. Arc raids, weapon mod. These battle raid rings can be attached to your weapon to improve motion transfer in your swing. Nice. Hydra skin panels. The silicon ceramic scale inside each of these panels are light and strong. The panels can replace bulkier plates to improve mobility. Oh? Uh, oh, that's cool. 
Aww. Poor little robots. Alright. Nice. Around the world in 800,000 days? Wait, what? Oh, in 800 days. The thrilling and ins... This is so weird. The thrilling and inspirational tale of Snail's journey to circumvade the globe. Oh, it is 800,000 days. Of a Snail's journey. Okay. Oh, what is that? Radio static. Oh, so a radio operator. Cool. Well, yeah, with that, we're basically done in this area. Um, let's try something. Let's actually try something. Let's see if we can now see the trap up here with uh, lemons. Let's see if we can actually see the trap now. Let's do some uh, quick F5. No. Um... Oh, S Marshall Kwon. Why is he the one? What? Why is he seeing the bombs? He's the one who sees them. Why? His awareness is only level four. That's lower than Lemons. Skipper. I don't. Does he have like certain perks? No. That's weird. That's really weird. Oh wow, we need three. Yeah, this will not work. This will trigger. <sighs> yep. And that did hurt quite a bit. What's in the armor crate? Oh, a tactical armor helmet. Tactical armor legs. And a savage helmet. Wow. Question is if I should reload here. And how how close are we for level up? Because as far as I know, uh, relatively close. Um, the items can change. That's the problem. The items are random in a box. As we have seen with the grenade box. So this is actually really good, but man, damage. <laughs> Lemon's got a lot of damage. Like, ugh, I don't know. Can we can we save this? Let me see. Yeah, let's save the game separately, which we haven't done yet. Okay, let's do a quick reload here. Let's send somebody up who actually has the armor. And let's see what we are getting out of it. If it is meh, then we just have to heal lemons. The loading screen or loading time, man. They they have to work on that. <laughs> this is a quick load. It's like uh not very quick. Okay, so let's send somebody up there who can actually like take a beating. I think my main character is, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, he was nothing. Wow, and you got much more damage. Holy moly, okay, like, the damage really didn't protect me. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, look at that. Come on, speed. Yeah, I think I take the one Lemon's head. Screw it. I take this one. I take this one. Yep. Screw it. Speaking about safe scum. No, we are not safe scumming decisions in the game. Like that that is the one I'm sticking with. Like if I make a decision, I have to live with it. Live with it. There we go. Like, I will not change that. This is more like experimenting. Oh, by the way, and I'm also not the person who likes to reload because just the chest had bad loot in it. Well, not the loot I wanted. I don't like that. This is just for experimenting, seeing how it works. Oh, no, wait, what? No. We already opened this. Yeah, okay. So the loot was already determined. That's good to know. Um, first things first, Sakura. Ooh, look at that, Sakura. Damn. You look like murder. Damn, girl. And now the helmet. Critical chance. Nice. Take that. All right. So, now that we are done here, let's leave to the city. Yes. saved. Let's go to the city. And let's see what's going on there. Boop, boop, boop. So this is also basically the point where we nearly ended up in the beta. Like we played a little bit longer in the beta, but not too long. Like we only talked to some NPCs, but that was about it, what we did in the beta, because that was the point where I said, okay, yeah. All right. Also, I have to find a doctor here. Oh. I hope I can find a doctor because I would love to fix my characters, and I definitely want to get like the shell shock away. I don't. I don't want the shell shock anymore Please. with my character. My son's not a Darcy. Let him go. Yep, and we will definitely follow the plea of the lady. Done wrong. On Monday, 